Hi there, it's Rocket in here and I am going to, um, usually this is kind of early for me to do my podcast, but I recognize that it's quiet and I am, I've been busy since this morning on doing a lot of stuff, so I'm just going to go ahead and roll with the flow and start doing my uh, storytelling for today. Before that, let me play a little sound. There you have it. So my podcast uh, title for today is Diminishing Perspective. And um, along my podcast, you'll probably figure it out uh, what I meant by uh, diminishing perspective. So um, I do not remember if I had podcasted about my... um, It's like a photography club where I am one of the member and I've been sharing a lot of pictures throughout our travels and to that club and they're online it's called um, I am it spells like E-Y-E-E-M so it, it is more like into photography and I really like the platform it has a very good feeling and I can also watch other members whatever they're posting my my chosen subject were actually uh, the sceneries that we uh, we had seen and I took pictures of throughout um, the United States and uh, I should say after three months I do not know when did I really sign up I am going to say uh, maybe late last year or earlier this year, but one day I get an email and I am uh, wrote me a letter and said, uh, "Congratulations! One of your photos was actually picked up by Getty Image, or is it Getty's Image? It spells like G E T T Y." Well, I did a research on Getty's uh, Getty Images, and they're actually the biggest online collection of pictures that a business or a personal uh, a person can buy the pictures that they like and they will um, sell them um, apparently one of my pictures were picked up by by them and I said oh that's so pretty cool so I didn't uh, I didn't really give much thought about it and then um after i should say i don't know when was this because i took a snapshot of the pictures and then another one after maybe a month i get another email from i am and they said congratulations your uh, picture is now uh is being um put into the gettys images i said like oh that's pretty neat but by that time i do not know um how much are they selling for so they sent me uh, a snapshot of how my images look like on Getty's uh, library. And actually, once a picture from I Am was um, taken by Getty's, they will license. What they do is like whoever's going to buy that will, ha- will be buying, will be purchasing a license. And the prices are actually like the extra small picture is fifty dollars, the small one is one hundred seventy five, and the medium is three hundred seventy five. And I was like, also, oh, there's this is very neat, and you know, I always throw the intention that one day someone will buy my picture and I will get profited from it. But until then, I'll just keep on rolling. So um, earlier today, I. Sent a po- I posted a picture of one of our travel in Oregon, and it was actually a split of um, what do you call this one? It's a split of like the day and night. But what make it so attractive is the the angle or the image is getting uh, smaller and so. And smaller, and one of the IM's uh, keywords used was diminishing perspective. I don't really know what is that, so I start researching, and I found a lot of things um, that is uh, 
make more sense to me. And it's like, you know, what is diminishing perspective? How can it improve your photography? Well, what happened is like in my pictures, it is kind of a pictures that things far away get smaller. So it's like a road and you're going through it. And then in your pictures, you happen to capture an angle where it's wide and then it started to um, it's getting smaller. Um, and it's true, the world we perceive is not flat. We live in three dimension. That the same object when placed far away from us, it will as appear smaller. That's what it meant by uh, diminishing perspective. And I remember when I was reading the articles on I am about how you know and how can I let Gary's uh, images pick up more of my picture. It suggested that taking a picture in perspective will get me more uh, juice. And when I was looking at all the pictures that we I took, and a lot of times, I actually have a lot of images that has a diminishing uh, perspective. And the road is, um, that's a big picture, that's a big clue of where you can get those, uh, what do you call those, kind of pictures and then it's also said that as far uh, and also the keywords I don't know if I said it already but the keywords in I am is diminishing uh, perspective on the pictures that I had posted also part of the diminishing how to spot a diminishing perspective in your image is use objects with patterns like if you're looking at the honeybee cone and you take a picture of that from the bigger, like sideways a little, and take a picture of that, and you'll see that using with patterns also gives that perspective uh, view of uh, uh, of your picture. Of course, a good pattern usually will engage your viewing forcing the eyes to follow it and objects with patterns are seems like that it's like a you know a picket fence you take it pictures from the wider angle and it goes down that is good also one way to f take a picture of the uh, diminishing perspective is define a horizontal line so for example if you see a swirling stairs you go up upstairs take a picture of the rail that is swirling and that also give you that uh, that kind of an angle as far as the defining a horizon line and also consider the depth of a field okay uh, I remember this I have a picture of, of the I believe it's the corn field or the sunflower uh, fields but the way I took a picture of it like a few days ago was we were driving and we're passing. So I said, okay, I'm going to go and take a picture of this field because it has yellows and everything. It's a sunflower fields. Well, I apparently I captured the, I captured the depth of the field. So which is like when, if you're looking at my pictures, you'll see that I took it from, from the wider angle and it forces my eyes to get, smaller and smaller and so smaller and probably that's what i am going to use for this um uh, for my podcast as far as picture on what is a uh, diminishing perspective so if you are getting my podcast and you want to improve your photography you can start looking at those perspective and see if you have the eyes for that because like I said I don't have it in the very beginning and I still didn't know that I have it until I read the definition of uh, diminishing perspective then I recognized that I've been doing it it just I do not have the words for it so this is my podcast for today and as usual this is Rocket saying have a wonderful day bye